Guest Smell Mr. Fragrant by Atrium Fragrances. Let's check out the atomizer. Very good, very, very good. The notes are lavender, orange, galbanum, vetiver, musk, ambergris, and patchouli. Now this fragrance is very high quality and it retails for 90 pounds for 100 ml. And I'm gonna rate Mr. Fragrant by Atrium Fragrances and School of Scent an eight out of 10 and it's worth checking out. Link in the description below for our brand. Grab a free sample today. These fragrances are overpriced. Here are the cheaper alternatives. The price point for fragrances is always gonna be a point of contention, but I believe there are some usual culprits, certain brands, that a lot of the community will say that they are overpriced for a lot of their stuff. Usually niche fragrances, sometimes also designer. In this video, I'm not gonna say, okay, this fragrance is overpriced, which is my subjective opinion, by the way, and here's the alternative, which is just a clone. I'm gonna avoid clones in this video. I'm gonna say these are alternatives that are not the exact same fragrance, but it's a similar vibe. You'll get a similar effect and similar function by these cheaper alternatives. Let's get started. First of all, let's talk about Santal 33 by Le Labo. Le Labo, in my opinion, is one of the culprits for a lot of their fragrances. To me, are overpriced. They're usually 150 pounds, and I think sometimes they're often too simple. Or uh, sometimes the blends, I just don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the blend of Santal 33. It's probably is one of the better fragrances from the brand, in, in fairness, if you like the style, but I don't like the style personally. It's, it's a dry cedar wood fragrance with very good longevity, it's bright, citrusy, but I don't like it. I think it's a little bit offensive to my nose. It smells a bit like pickle juice, which some people get as well, not just myself. I think Comme des Garçons Florientel is a better, cheaper alternative. Not only is this fragrance still unique, it has an interesting plum and incense notes in here. It's also dry, woody, more sandalwood based than Santal 33 in my opinion. Good longevity, six to eight hours and very versatile, and most of all, it's very affordable. Affordable. I think this is a very slept on versatile phrase that man could wear all year round. It's Comme des Garçons have issues in their own brand, but I think this is one of their best. Creed, of course, we're going to discuss Creed in this video. Creed Aventus. I don't recommend it often because it's a bit of a joke how there's so much variation in the batteries. My 2022 bottle is an absolute travesty for how much I spent on it. It's very poor performing and the scent profile isn't as rich as it used to be. But this alternative is fantastic. This is one of the best summer fragrances out right now, maybe the best one currently. I'm wearing this right now, it's Mancera's Cedra Boise Intense. Cedra Boise, the original, was already a really good fragrance. It feels like it was a fragrance that was inspired by the hype of Aventus, sort of trying to play on that kind of DNA. It's definitely not a clone, but it had its issues, the original. It smelled too smoky in a really offensive and synthetic way, which I think came from the leather. The Intense is a big improvement, a big, big improvement, not only on the performance, this last 12 hours with a medium amount of projection, which is great for a freshie, but also this, the scent profile more improved importantly, it's a lot more smooth. They smooth that a leather nose, so it's not as annoying as head and headache inducing as before. The original Citra Boise was probably my most complimented fragrance ever. It got me so many compliments, but I didn't like wearing it myself because of how headache inducing it was, that leather notes. This is more smooth, citrusy, smoky, woody. In my opinion, Citra Boise Intense is the epitome of a manly, woody cologne. If you want to smell manly and woody, Citra Boise Intense is it. It is a fantastic signature. I think this is actually the new Sauvage in my opinion, but us people in the fragrance community will be the only ones who appreciate that. Honestly, I do think this is incredible. It's a really good release. I'm wearing it right now and I love it. Thomas Ford against Tuscan Leather. Great perfumery, great leather scent, but it's very intense. You have to love the notes a lot to appreciate it. I think the fact that it's so, first of all, difficult to appreciate, it's a tricky perfumery and in fact it's so expensive and it has good clones like Rosasi, like Yuko Wam. I will say this is the alternative. So this is not the clone that's um, I will recommend instead as a nicer, easier leather scent that's still high quality. Thomas Fordigan itself, ombre leather. I think ombre leather is very similar to Tuscan leather in a lot of ways, but it's just a more simplified version of that fragrance, basically. If you just want high quality leather, you don't want the intense smokiness of Tuscan leather or the raspberry notes that's in there. It's a simplified, high quality leather, like the interior of a Lamborghini. This is the kind of fragrance for you. I think it's an nicer alternative for the price especially. And I think this generally just smells more sexy. I think it'd be more mass appealing than Tuscan leather. Parfum de Marly is a brand I generally don't think their fragrances are overpriced, but I do think their summer fragrances are often overpriced. And one of them that's very popular is Sedley. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice fragrance. It's a very masculine citrus, sandalwood, and broxen based cologne for men in the summertime. It's long lasting, but I think it does smell a bit basic and a little bit designer heavy. So I think get this alternative instead, which is a designer summer fragrance. Dior Homme Sport 2021. This is very woody, very citrusy, and also long lasting. It'll get you that same 
high quality, elegant effect that you may get from Sedley, but you get it at a much cheaper price, over half the price. The Euro is still no slouch, so you're definitely gonna get that high quality and elegance here as well. And the woodiness is not from the Ambroxan, here is more from ISOE Super, which generally is still a synthetic note, but it's a lot less headache inducing as Ambroxan can potentially be. So bear that in mind, this is very good stuff. Let's talk about some Roger fragrances. Roger, again, I think I am very much love some of his stuff and I'm not a fan of other things. Some of his stuff I think is a bit overpriced. One of them I might say is Elysium, the Parfum Cologne is the only thing I've tried. It's what, 225 pounds? I think it's a little bit expensive for what it is. It's smooth, it's natural, but it's not long lasting enough in my opinion. And the scent DNA, again, is kind of in that Adventist family. It's not an Adventist clone at all. But if you want a dry, citrusy, long lasting cologne for a much better price, this is my recommendation. Alexandria Fragrances, Black Panther. This is a clone of Bulgari's Tigar, which itself could be an alternative to Elysium. It can be an alternative to Aventus as well. But this is honestly one of the best clones I've ever tried in my life. This is super slept on. Long lasting, eight to 10 hours, Tiger clone, which gets it 95% close, which is grapefruit, sandalwood, and ambroxan. Very simple. Again, it's similar to Sedley. It's got a simple scent profile, which I don't think need, you need to spend hundreds of pounds on. This is why this clone existing is great. Uh, and I just think it's much more price appropriate and it's still fantastic, still extremely sexy and mass appealing as a long lasting summer freshie. Let's talk about Eccentric Molecules Molecule 01, an extremely popular perfume, which has one ingredient, which is ISOE Super. I mentioned it before in this video, it's woody, mass appealing. It is long lasting. But it is a very cheap ingredient. That's why I think they are making a killing on their business. Fair, fair enough to them. Yeah, good for them, I guess. But you don't need to get it. They say they have a, a, a fixed captive of the ISOE Super Molecule. They have their own unique version of it, which has mixed isomers from uh, IFF, I think. But I think it's a little bit of a marketing gimmick. I don't think you need to get branded ISOE Super from them. You can get unbranded stuff like this tin canister I have here from eBay for 15 or 20 pounds. It smells very similar. You can use it the same as Molecule One, use it as a base layer to increase the longevity of any fragrance you want to increase the performance of. It is still very sexy. There's gonna be lots of compliments and it's still very long lasting, eight to 10 hours. Just go on eBay, find a company that sells pure ISOE Super. It's not pure, it's, it's still diluted. I can't remember if this is 20, this is an eau de parfum. So you obviously get it diluted, but they'll dilute it for you. Look at the reviews, make sure the reviews are positive, make sure it's a trusted seller, and you get the unbranded stuff for usually a third of the price of Molecule 01. Does this count as a clone? Yeah, I technically broke my rule, this is technically a clone. Okay, I guess a non-clone alternative to Molecule 01 would be Eccentric Molecule 02, which is pure Ambroxan, which I actually think is a better base to increase longevity for your fragrances. Going back to Roja again, another one of his most popular fragrances is Enigma, which is a cool fragrance. Um, I think it's a, a special kind of fragrance. You have to really like it to buy it first. Like you need to sample it. It, it is expensive. Again, 225 pounds. I've only smelled the Parfum Cologne, the Red Bottle. It's a cool Coca-Cola boozy fragrance with a sort of very mature woodiness. It's a very mature man's fragrance. It's got like almost a very dirty, dry woodiness to it, a little bit animalic actually. I think it's a cool fragrance, but I would say it would be still an expensive fragrance. Maybe 150 pounds would be a better asking price than 225, but this is a good alternative here. Mancera's Tonka Cola. This is the advantage of Mancera as a brand. As the affordable niche brand, sometimes they come in really clutch with these affordable alternatives. It is a boozy Coca-Cola scent that is still very fresh patchouli tonka bean base. It's very balanced, got a nice freshness and sweetness there. Very long lasting. It's definitely more synthetic than Enigma, but it still gives you a much more wearable. This is easy to wear for most age groups, versatile, most of the year round fragrance as a signature. This is a really unique signature fragrance, very surprisingly versatile for that kind of scent profile. And I think it's basically slept on in general. If you can get it, I think it's a little bit tricky to get online these days. If you can get it, it's very good stuff. And lastly, going back to the Labo again, because I am their biggest hater, going back to Bergamot 22, which I discussed in the buying guide of the Labo in our video. And I think it is one of their better fragrances, but it's not that long lasting. Again, it's very overpriced in my opinion, 150 pounds. It's a simple, high quality, realistic Bergamot scent with some musk in the background. I think this does more and lasts longer as well. And it's cheaper. Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime. This uses a special note in their lime, it's called finger lime. So it's meant to be a more extravagant, more opulent, rich person's sort of lime note. And I would say it does smell like that. It smells like a very luxurious lime fragrance with musks in the background and some dry vetiver that is not offensive. It just smooths things out. It's a very easy to like fragrance. It's perfectly unisex. And instead of getting maybe four hours of Bergamot 22, this gets six hours instead, just over six hours actually which I think just makes it more of a complete package and it's cheaper to buy as well. Very good fragrance from the brand, one of their best. 
That concludes this video, guys. What fragrances do you believe are overpriced and do you think there are better, cheaper alternatives to them? Leave your answers in the comments down below. Make sure to watch our other video on affordable fragrances. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.